Hi guys and welcome to the Craft Beer Channel and indeed welcome to a video that was born out of necessity because we need to settle a very, very important discussion. Uh, and to do so, I've invited back two friends. Uh, Hopinions or Beer O'Clock Show. I've kind of lost track. Which one is it's, it? It's a bit of both. Bit of both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm here with Steve <laughs> and with Martin. Uh, and we're going to be doing a blind taste test to discover does haze matter in IPA? So as per our last very scientific blind taste test, we will be blindfolded, and this is not the first time that Steve has been blindfolded uh, on the channel. So guys, tell us what you do before we get into it. Uh, we do a weekly podcast uh, where we talk about um, stuff that's going on in, in, in beer, we talk about news, um, and then we have the, the weekly opinions segment, which is uh, we run a poll every Sunday night on Twitter, uh, people interact with that poll, and, and then we use what people have said about the poll to fuel our discussions. And we're going to be appearing on the Opinions uh, a week after this video uh, to talk through what we found in this incredibly scientific <coughs> taste test. So Brad, can you explain to us the rules? Yes. First rule of Taste Club. <laughs> <laughs> you must wear hoods in Taste Club. Yes. You must wear hoods, guys. No cheating. That's the first rule of Taste Club. Second rule of Taste Club. I want to know, do you think it's hazy? Is it not hazy? Right? And the third rule. How much do you like it out of ten? Out of 10. Yeah, because what we're trying to work out is, is there a correlation between haze and flavour, yeah. essentially. So, we, you know, do we like the stuff that's hazy more or less? That's what we want to work out. Okay, now Steve, you're not wild about haze. Or uh, murk, sorry. I'm, I'm okay with, with a little bit of, a bit of haze, um, but it's, it's the murk that I'm not wild about. Okay, so the difference between haze and murk is extremity, basically. There's a point where you... I, I think so. I think when it comes, when, when a beer comes up and it looks like somebody's just poured a carton of juice mm. in, into my glass, that's the point at which I think it's gone too far. Okay, and Martin, how do you feel about haze slash murk? I'm less uh, annoyed by murky beers than Steve, but I have found myself getting lit, feeling a bit samey. Okay, well then I'll put my cards on the table. I fucking love haze. Right, Brad, let's do this. Let's do it. Gentlemen, hoods please. Guys, first of six beers here, we're in for a treat. Drinking beer like this is weird. Massive. What are you feeling? Uh, Again. I'm just going to go non murky, non hazy. I've got a West Coast IPA sense to it. Johnny? Uh, yes, yeah, definitely, definitely clear. Could have a tiny bit of hop haze, it's very hoppy, it's very nice, but like crisp, definitely non haze. And you, Steve, what do you reckon? Oh, I think I'm going to echo everyone else's thoughts. And out of 10, what would you give it? How, how lovely it is? I'd give it an 8. An 8? Give it a 7. 7? I was thinking an 8 as well. Okie dokie. We're on to the next one. I think it's hazy. I don't think it's very hazy. It's not got enough body, but it's got a little bit of pilliness, a little bit of powdery, powderiness yeah. as well. Uh, I'm going to go with the haze on this one as well. Go uh, for the haze. It's, yeah, it's got a little bit of a juicy feel to it. Juicy banger, eh? Nice. Martin, what do you reckon? Yeah, can only echo what the other two have said. How much do you like it? Uh, probably not as much as the first one. I'm sort of lacking that, that sharpness and bitterness, but... Right. Six. Six. Johnny. Yeah, I'll give it a, give it a six. It's not as, as zingy as the last one. Okay, interesting. So you're, in your minds you're correlating the haze with uh, less less crispness. I'd call it a little bit flaccid, mate. Okay, flaccid. Oh, no. <laughs> Nobody wants anything flaccid, do they? Got a third one coming at you now, guys. I've just lifted that to look at it. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm, so I'm gonna go with this being a little bit murky. A little bit murky. I think it's really murky. Okay. I think it's got a really full body. Yeah. Um, but that said, the aroma is, it's, it's, I think it's old hops or slightly oxidized or something. It's so Mark's out of 10 mark, what are you thinking? Four. Four. Oh. Johnny. Give it a five. Five. Steve. I was going to hit this one with a four as well. Four. 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 This is... You're killing some whales here. Right, <laughs> 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 anyway, chaps. Four beer. That's got a nice body to it. I think, I still think it's probably clear. And Steve, what are you thinking? I'm, I'm thinking that's clear. Just finishes really clean as well. Nice. Martin, how about you? Yeah, I'm going west coast, not hazy, not murky. 
Oh, this is back up to the back again. Oh, you like it? Mm. This is a good one. All right, Johnny, what about you? I'm, I'm not worried about it. Uh, I gave it a six. Six. And Steve? I'm going six. I'm six? Six. Yep. There you go. Fifth beer, guys. Fifth beer. Oh, this one's got me. Um, I'm going to go with it being more on the clear side. I think it's haze for days. Haze for haze days. It's got a lovely, lovely mouth. It's really velvety mm. for me. I'm going Merc. He's going full <laughs> Merc. I'm going Merc. So Merc is beyond haze. Yeah. This is the mur the murkiest of Mercs. Yeah, I'm going definitely beyond haze. Right. On yeah. this one. Very soft mouth. Out, out of ten? This is... Uh, I'll give it a seven. Seven. He likes it. You just said it was the murkiest. Yeah, it's got a bit more sharpness than the first murk. Okay, so you like the uh, the sharpness in the murk. Johnny, what are you feeling? Six. Six! Oh, T tied yourself up there with a scoring, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. harsh. And uh, Steve? Uh, I'm not crazy about it, so I'm, I'm going to probably give it a five. Five. Okay, chaps, this is it, the final countdown. Number six. I'm going to go a bit hazy. I think it's clear. It's a hoppy beast. It's got a real kick. A hot monster. Yeah. Steve? I'm going to go a touch of haze on this one. Yeah, a little uh, bit of haze? Yeah. Mm. Uh, really big nose on it. Scores out of 10, sir. I'm a little uncertain. Right. Six. Six! Hedging your bets. Johnny? I'm going to give it a five. Five, not a fan. Steve? I'm going six on this as well. Six! I'm not sure what we've learned yet, guys, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, I want you to de-hood. Come on. Go three, hood. two, one. ta oh. Right, give me these. Get them out of the way. Look at this light out. So, Bradders, you said we probably didn't learn much. Well, uh, I would say you're, you know... I, thought, I think, in general, you, you guys did pretty well. Mm. Uh, but there was definitely some discrepancies and some, yeah. so some glaring across the wrongness. Across the three of us, yeah. there were only three mistakes. There were only yeah. three times where we thought it was clear and it was hazy, or thought it was hazy and it was clear. Yeah, um, yeah you did pretty well. I certainly, for both of the hazy, murky beers were underscored compared to the two eights I gave. Yeah. We're going to flash up a graph now that's going to show you how the amount of haze uh, compared with the how, how much we liked the beers. Uh, Steve, would you agree with Martin? I, I think I found myself probably still leaning towards the, the crisper style that mm. I look for. Hasn't changed Well, so, yeah, Steve, Steve your, your clear beers were scored 8.65 uh, compared to 5.46 on the hazy beers. Mm -hmm. um, which shows a little, a little bit of bias towards clean. Martin's, it was 8.86 mm. yeah. on the clear beers and then 6.46. For the hazy, so you you definitely prefer the clearer beer. Yeah. Uh, with me, it was it was give or take for all of them, except for the Alesmith, which was a bloody beautiful beer. It was brewed in October last year, so how that's held on to those hops? That's not It's an it. absolute bloody yeah. miracle. That's really good. Uh, for me, that was by far and away the best beer today. Uh, the haziest did not translate into flavour, but it did into body. I thought. Did, was there anything to be said for there being more body to a beer, or do you not need that in an IPA? I don't personally. No, personally, uh, I don't either. For me, I expect the body in, say, an impy stout is the way I'm expecting that big body to come along. So, if you want to hear more in depth uh, analysis of what we just did there, uh, you can go over to Opinions and we've got a podcast that will be going live uh, with us talking about all of these beers in the context of knowing what they actually bloody were. Mm. Um, so, we'll dive in a lot more. Uh, on that podcast. So guys, thank you so much for coming in, taking part in our Cheers. very Thanks scientific very enjoyed that. experiment. Guys, let us know what you think, hazy or not hazy. Is it just a difference in style? Is it a difference in brewing? Is it laziness? We'd love to know your thoughts, uh, so put them down in the comments below. Uh, cheers. Cheers.